Hello friends, today we're going to learn about Carthage and how to implement Carthage in our Swift application. Just like Cocoa Pods, Carthage is also a dependency manager for Swift and dynamic, part, uh, dynamic frameworks are a huge part of Carthage. So Carthage does not support iOS 7, it only supports iOS 8 and plus. Uh, so let's get started for Carthage. First of all, what we need to do, we need to go to this link, github.com slash carthage slash carthage slash release. I'm going to download this carthage.pkg file. It's a 3.34 MB file. And then we need to install this. I've already installed this. You will double click or right click or open and just, you know, uh, press continue and all. And uh, it will be installed for you. Then you just need to create a new project. So let's get started. Uh, Let's give the name of the project Carthage sample and I'm going to save it on desktop. Now we know that Carthage don't support iOS 7 so just give the uh, if your app needs to provide the 8 uh, framework sorry 8 uh, support then provide the deployment target to 8.0 but we can't uh, go below it because Carthage don't support iOS 7. Now we just need to run some of the commands just like we do in cocoa pods we need to uh, we used to pod in it and then we used to write some uh, framework paths and uh, write the command pod install uh, in case of Carthage also we need to do the same kind of thing we need to create a cart file and then uh, write the framework paths uh, provided uh, and then we need to run some command which will automatically install the frameworks for us now how to do it first of all uh, there are certain set of commands uh, after installing the package uh, which we which you downloaded the 3.34 MB file you can run this command Carthage version on the terminal to check uh, whether you have installed the Carthage uh, uh, correctly so it's 0.10 version for me and yeah just upgrade your git to 2.3 uh, or 2.4 because Carthage I think doesn't work for the git less than 2.3 okay now what we need to do we need to write this command touch cart file and what it will do it will create a cart file for us in the same directory where our project is so first I need to go to the directory it's on desktop so CD and I'm going to drag this so I'm on the directory of the project now now I'm going to write touch cart file yes now a new cart file is created here and let's integrate LMO fire and Swifty JSON for this so uh, go to lmofire github.com and uh, write uh, copy this github lmofire lmofire tail, tail symbol angular uh, you know right arrow and 3.0 as provided on this page and copy on the cart file similarly for swifty json copy it and save the cart file okay so far so good now what we need to do we need to run this command carthage update uh, double hyphen platform ios and it will install the various frameworks for us so let's hit it it will first fetch swifty json alamo fire okay and now it's checking out It will take a moment around uh, one minute or two minute depending the network speed so it will build the scheme first for LMO fire and then for Swifty JSON Make sure to update your git version too in order to make things working for Carthage. We can also mix Cocoa Pots with Carthage so we can use both of them simultaneously. So uh, it's my uh, suggestion if you have any Objective C framework you can use cocoa pods and if you have any swift framework you can use Carthage uh, but make sure that you are on a 8 plus deployment target else it will not work so 
so it is now building LMO fire iOS there's a folder here created as the name Carthage and here all the frameworks that you have written in the card file will be present for you yeah so it's now building Swifty JSON going on and on maybe 30 more seconds yeah now it's done now take a look at what this command has done for us there's a folder called Carthage and there is a build folder the iOS folder and we have the LMO fire and Swifty JSON framework so how to use them so we have already set up the project now we just need to add our frameworks into the project so how we will do this we'll go to this uh, targets and general and then uh, scroll down to linked uh, frameworks and libraries and uh, add other click on add other and go to Carthage build iOS and LMO fire framework and Swifty JSON framework select them both and click on open okay so here we have both the frameworks now uh, let's go to our view controller class and write LMO fire. Yeah, we have both the frameworks now Swifty JSON so far so good now. Let's just run a simple LMO fire command in order to check that everything is perfect so I'm going to copy this piece of code and I'm going to run this Okay, let's take a simulator and build this project okay so we have got an error here library not loaded uh, sometimes this error can come uh, so in order to fix this what you need to do you need to go to your build phases and check if there are any embedded framework path present I know it's not present here so what you need to do just uh, click on plus here and uh, select new copy file space okay and what you need to do uh, in the destination uh, tab you need to select frameworks and add both the frameworks LMFI and Swifty JSON here add make sure code sign on copy and uh, uh, this Swifty JSON frameworks both code sign on copy is checked okay and now again run the project here we go the JSON is printed here I'm going to run it once again to check the LMO fire is working and also Swifty JSON so yeah we got the response here we will printing the response here's the data here's the result success so LMO fire is working fine no issues with that so in this way we can use Carthage and uh, there is something called run search paths make sure that you have this dollar inherited and at the rate executable underscore path frameworks present there in order to make the things working if any error uh, occur like the one which I encountered uh, just a few minutes back okay so this is the way we can use Carthage and you can just import the frameworks and you can use it uh, with the help of Carthage so this that's all for this tutorial anything uh, any improvements that can be done uh, please mention as comments or any uh, questions uh, please throw them as comments so thank you thank you for watching